the Vice President of America. I have the great honor to announce that I've picked Kamala Harris, a fearless fighter for the little guy, and one of the country's finest public servants, as my running mate, Biden tweeted. Kamala Harris is the Vice President-elect of the United States, making her the first female Vice President and first black person and Asian American to hold the position. She is the first black woman to be elected district attorney in California history, the first woman to be California's attorney general, first Indian American senator. Birth name, Kamala Devi Harris date of birth, October 20, 1964 age, 55 place of birth, Oakland, California parents, Donald J. Harris, Shimala Gopalan Harris sibling, Maya Height, 1.57 meters husband, lawyer Douglas Imhoff. Born in California to a Tamil mother from India and a black father from Jamaica, she grew up singing in the choir at a Baptist church and attending a Hindu temple with her mother. As the district attorney of San Francisco and as the attorney general of California she gained a tough on crime reputation while opposing the death penalty. Much to the chagrin of her critics, Harris has been defying stereotypes since the very beginning. Harris became a lawyer worked for the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, was elected District Attorney of San Francisco, was elected Attorney General of California, won election to the United States Senate, ran for President of the United States, and, in 2020, was chosen by Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden to be his vice presidential running mate. Harris's mother, Shimala, immigrated from India to attend the University of California, Berkeley, where she met Harris's Jamaican-born father, Donald. Shimala carved out a career as a renowned breast cancer researcher, while Donald became a Stanford University economics professor. Her mother also ensured that Harris and her younger sister, Maya, maintained ties to their Indian heritage by raising them with Hindu beliefs and taking them to her home country every couple of years. Unfortunately, Harris's parents divorced when she was seven years old, and at age 12 she moved with her mother and sister to Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Harris attended Westmount High School in Quebec, where she founded a dance troupe with a friend. Returning to the States to enter Howard University in Washington, D.C. San Francisco District Attorney in 2003, Harris became San Francisco District Attorney. Her accomplishments in this role include the launch of the Back on Track, initiative that cut recidivism by offering job training and other educational programs for low-level offenders. California Attorney General Harris continued her political ascent by narrowly beating Los Angeles County District Attorney Steve Cooley for California Attorney General in November 2010, making her both the first African-American and the first woman to hold the position. She quickly made an impact in her role by pulling out of negotiations for a settlement from the country's five largest financial institutions for improper mortgage practices, eventually scoring a $20 million payout in 2012 that was five times the original proposed figure for her state. The Attorney General also made waves for her refusal to defend Proposition 8, a 2008 California ballot measure that was deemed unconstitutional by a federal court. After the U.S. Supreme Court dismissed an attempt to appeal the ruling in 2013, Harris officiated the first same-sex marriage in California since Prop 8 was initially enacted. Additional accomplishments include a successful lawsuit against the false advertising of the for-profit Corinthian College's chain, as well as continued legal pursuit of the classified advertising service Backpage, which led to its CEO pleading guilty to facilitating prostitution and money laundering after Harris moved on to the Senate. U.S. Senator in November 2016, Harris handily defeated Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez for a U.S. Senate seat from California, thereby becoming just the second African-American woman and the first South Asian American to enter the Senate. Harris published two books in early 2019, The Truths We Hold, an American Journey reflects on her personal relationships and upbringing, and Superheroes Are Everywhere, another memoir rendered in picture book form for kids. She first became an author in 2009 with Smart on Crime, a career prosecutor's plan to make us safer, which explores her philosophy and ideas for criminal justice reform. Uttering this statement she became the highest-ranking woman ever elected in American government, I may be the first, but won't be the last.